everyone. So um, yesterday was a pretty busy day for us. We did a lot, we had a lot going on. Um, we got so much done and we just kind of been blowing and going, playing catch up. Um, and we wanted to just share that with y'all because there's so many projects and a lot of times we just do chores and things in the morning. We do a lot every day, but it doesn't seem that exciting to like watch us do the same chores every single day. So it's kind of nice now. We have a lot of projects and we can share that with you. So nifty. So one of the things that we did, um, we showed a video about this last week is that we put up the new pins. So we're gonna be able to separate our chickens by varieties, breeds for breeding season. They're gonna have a lot of space and they have all of this. So it's a lot more than what they have right now, although they're free range, like they might go into the front yard, hang out. We don't really restrict them, which is what we want. And we'll do a video about eggs too and talk about the difference in that. Um, Cause I know we get a lot of questions about that and yolks and et cetera. So we'll walk you through that, but um, this is gonna be best for them. It'll be easy to compost. It's gonna be movable. We need to move it or clean it or treat it or whatever it may be versus what we have right now where it's kind of like built in. We don't really um, want that route at the moment. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Pins. I'm putting together this little video. I'll shoot you some clips of us working yesterday and getting it done. So it doesn't look like it was that intense, right? But oh my gosh, it took us like 10 hours, not a joke. I think Kevin and I started in the morning, like got up at 6.45, which is late for us, for him especially. <laughs> I usually sleep in a little bit longer, but not by much. Um, but we had to wrap all of these in wire completely ourselves. And then we tarped them. We had to put everything together, clip off all the extra, and then we ran extra wiring at the bottom to make sure they're secure so nothing could dig up under there. We want to keep them nice and safe. Um, intermittently with that, we had to chase baby chicks that escaped. That was fun. Larry was super helper. He uh, played the block, held everybody together so we could scoop them all up. And then we also had other exciting things go on like Gia wanted to rub her butt all over this fine hutch, so she decided to take it out uh, so she could get some better rubbings in. And <laughs> Jinx took out that one over there. Uh, so we still have to get all these uh, lined up on the fence. We have to put up the nesting boxes and perches for these. But good stuff, we got four. One more thing that we did too was we took care of the bees. We got them situated. Whenever we winterize their boxes. Oh, it, we did a really good job of it and we did internal feeders and all that good stuff. But just with the storm coming and the, the deep temperature difference and the rain and the cold, the boxes actually busted. And I wouldn't say that that's an uncommon thing. I mean, they're not made to last forever, but we have a million bee boxes, thankfully. So yesterday I painted some new boxes and Kevin had the pleasure of switching those out. Those are some pissed off girls, but in the long run, they needed it. They needed new boxes. It's been like three or four years, so it was time. Um, and then we got some honey to spend too. So soon we'll be able to do a video on us harvesting our honey that we have. And we'll be able to um, just talk some more about the bees and things like that now that they're gonna be in much better shape and condition and they've got everything that they need. Still a little finicky right now, so I don't want to go over there at the moment, but I'll show them off soon. Um, but I have some clips yesterday of Kevin switching up those boxes and stuff. So tell us what you think, and we'll talk to you soon.
So here are our old boxes I was telling you about. Kevin whipped this one up actually himself, um, the bits and frames. At the time when we needed it, we couldn't get a box anywhere. And we didn't have as many as we have now. And then we nailed these, glued them, but you can see like from the storm, they just busted right open. And they never stood a chance. And so now we're on to the new fancy box. Look at these guys, almost done. That's one, two, three, four new paints. All that space. Now we just gotta put on some doors so we can quit climbing the ladder. 